Question 17, part A. Solve y add 5 equals 12. Two ways of doing this. One way, which in this case is really quite simple, is just to imagine that being covered up. Something add 5 is 12, which would give you the answer of 7. 7 add 5 is 12. The more correct mathematical way would be to what's called balance this equation. So if we want just y left on its own, we want to take away 5. So we take away 5, but when you're balancing an equation you do the same to the other side. So 12 take away 5 is 7. Either method, you're just looking for a one mark answer here. Part B, solve x over 4 equals 3. So again, if we just covered that up, something divided by 4 is 3, and could possibly work out what the answer is. Or we could use this balancing method. Something divided by 4 is 3. So what's the opposite of dividing by 4? Multiplying. So on the right, we're going to have to have 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So our answer is 12. So just double check, does that work? Substitute x back in. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Correct. C. Solve 5w take away 6 equals 10. Now in this situation, being able to balance an equation is vital. It's so much easier than trying to experiment in the top of your head. So, we're trying to find out what w is. Now taking it one step at a time means we want to get rid of this minus 6. To get rid of a minus 6, we can just add 6. So if I added 6 to that, it would get rid of and cancel that negative 6. But we have to add 6 on this side as well. So we've cancelled the minus 6, so we still have 5 w's. But on the right, we now have 16. But if I've got 5 w's and I only want 1 w, it means I'm going to have to divide it by 5 to leave me with 1 w. If I do the same on this side to keep the whole equation balanced, I'm going to have 16 divided by 5. Quick way to do that would be to double it and then divide it by 10, or very quickly you can do a bus stop in the space left over. How many 5's go into 1? That's nothing, with 1 left over. How many 5's into 16? That's 3, but there's 1 left over, so we're going to have to go into a decimal here. How many 5's into 10? It's 2. So our final answer is 3.2. I wouldn't have liked to try and work that one out without at least trying to balance that equation.